Hi guys, today's video is gonna be one of my favorite type of hauls aside from Dollar Tree because you know those are number one, number one. But today I'm gonna sit down and share my newest purchases from Amazon. I love videos like these because Amazon's one of those places where it's almost like the abyss. You just really don't know what's always out there. And so I like to think of like these videos as a way to get products um, you know, in front of you guys that you may not have known were there, I guess you could say. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna share my newest finds, plus stay till the end because I'm gonna rattle off some of my like favorite Amazon purchases ever. So let's dive in. I wanna start off um, with a couple items that I recently picked up for Loki. They're brand new items that I've never purchased before. And I found these pet MD ear wipes. Um, I feel like these could be very good for him. Again, I've never tried it before. It's aloe vera and eucalyptus for dogs. Um, it's an advanced formula. You get 100 wipes in here. The thing about Loki's breed is, is that his ears are actually supposed to be cut, and I didn't have them cut. Um, the reason for the cutting is because in this particular breed, they do tend to have a lot of yeast infections in their ears, hence the reason for the cut. Um, so, but in to basically offset that, I guess you could say, I've always like cleaned Lolly's ears, Loxy's ears. Um, so, but I've always had like a solution from the vet. So I thought I would just try something off of Amazon, just like a maintenance kind of thing, you know, just to keep the ears clean. So I'm gonna give these a try. I can't really recommend or say what I think because I haven't tried them yet, but I found them on Amazon, found them interesting enough, Give it a go and see how it goes. This next item actually came recommended by a lady that I met at the dog park while, you know, taking Loki out. And she sent me this picture of these treats that she picked up from Amazon. And because we were just like talking about, you know, really healthy options for dogs and and food that's bad for them, etc. So hence how we kind of came up on this topic and she's like i love these treats they're so amazing um so i thought i'd also give them a try it is by the brand a better treat um the ingredients wild caught salmon like that's like that's it so it is freeze-dried wild caught grain free gluten free and loki's actually obsessed with this treat the next couple of things might be pretty boring for the ladies that watch me, but I'm gonna throw these items in here anyway. I decided that for some odd reason, I wanted to wash my own car. So I went on over to Amazon and decided to get all the things I needed to accomplish this. So that's what you're gonna look at now. I got the Chemical Guys. This is a total interior cleaner. Apparently it's good for the leather, vinyl, the dashboard, like all the things. It's like a full-on interior clean. Yeah, navigation screen. It's even good for glass. And then of course I needed some type of soap for that. And again, went with Chemical Guys. This is Mr. Pink. Apparently they make a bunch of different soaps. I have no clue, to be honest, what the difference is in the soaps. I just saw the reviews on this one and was like, okay, great. This like foaming gun. Um, this basically you put the soap that you're gonna use and this one in particular attaches to a garden hose and that's why I got this one because apparently you can also get the ones that attach to a power washer um, but I don't have one of those so I need to make sure that it could connect to my garden hose and then you put the soap in here and then it actually turns the soap into foam and then you just like spray the car and there you go you don't really have to use the the bucket, dip down into the bucket, and then onto the car kind of concept. You know, you just already put the soap on the car. I also wanted to make sure that I got a couple of things for the tires. I love, it's probably one of my favorite parts about a car wash is like the tires looking like shiny and wet. I don't know, I just really like that. I went with this brand right here. It's Black Magic Tire Wet. As a matter of fact, I remember this brand because I used to wash my cars like a long time ago for cleaning as part of the interior of the car, which I think you can also use this as well for like your office. So you might wanna consider that when getting one of these. So essentially it's like slime for adults. It cleans like vents and all of those like little 
nooks and crannies that you just can't really get into with a cloth. Um, and that's what this thing does. And for the office, you would essentially use this for like your keyboard. Yeah, you can see that it is a slimy consistency, comes in a bunch of colors. The car wash had to get some of these microfiber cloths. I went with the ones from Amazon just because they're bigger than the ones from Dollar Tree. And these are gonna be essentially like after I wash the car, get all the soap off, this is going to soak up all the excess water kind of thing. So I knew I was gonna need something, something big. I obviously need something to, you know, get the soap worked in. So I went with this system because it comes with two chenille mops. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, you've got the extended on this like pole thing and then you have this one which is like a hand mitt situation and this is really good especially if you have just like a bigger car or a truck or an SUV. This one's going to be really good because then you're not going to be using your back as much you know kind of thing or like reaching it'll be a lot easier to reach next up i feel like this has been in a video somewhere i just can't remember where but as i was going through like my orders list i wanted to pull this bamboo brush again it's there's my hair is on it because i've already used it but this is not just for like my brush because i use a wet brush as the brush I style with. This brush is actually something that I use to stimulate hair growth. So I'll just kind of like brush my hair, you know, for a couple minutes a day with this, or at least that's what I'm trying to do. Actually, I really need to research and figure out exactly how I'm supposed to use this or how much time I'm supposed to do doing it kind of thing. But just to like get the scalp tingly and just kind of like promote more hair growth. I also picked up some sunglasses. Now these are not at all my style, but let me tell you the backstory on this. Um, I'm more of an aviators kind of girl, and I do love like the Wayfarers of the um, Ray-Bans, definitely very 80s with those, but these right here have like a little cat, cat eye flare going to them. And honestly, I was just, they're not great for when you're wearing hats, okay? I got this because I love Hailey Bieber style. I just do. Now, there's quite a bit that she wears. Like, obviously, you know, she's a model and, you know, she's in her 20s. But there are all, lots of other outfits that she wears that I just love because they're very kind of up my alley. And I saw her wearing these and then I saw some influencer on TikTok or something talking about how she found a dupe to the ones that she was wearing and I was like, they're 14 bucks. I thought I'd give it a go. And I do like when the sunglasses kind of look like this. Cause again, aviators are very thin, like the wiry kind. So it's nice to kind of have a, like a block type sunglass. I don't even know if that's like the right term, but. And then I picked up these um, spoolies, I guess you could say. They are the dispos disposable eyelash mascara and you can see how much you get in here these were ultra cheap but i did not actually get them for mascara i got them so that i could basically dip these into um the name is escaping me it'll come to me in a second but so that i can grow castor oil so that i can then apply them to my lashes and help them grow a little bit i've also been using these put them in castor oil and then I'll kind of like sweep them through my eyebrows because I also have like literally no eyebrows. So I'm using castor oil as a method to grow more hair between my eyebrows and my eyelashes. And then this item, I didn't realize it was gonna be a Hailey Bieber situation. I truly didn't, but I follow her on TikTok and she was doing a little get ready with me and she put on this brand, Oli, Oli, I, I can't even say it, Olio E Oso, whatever it's called. And this was, I don't think this was the exact one that she used in her video, but she sold me so hard on this blush. And of course, the first thing I did was I hopped right onto Amazon to see if it was there and it was. Um, again, I don't think it was the one that she was using exactly, but this one is in the color, it's ball number two. So whatever color that is, I will link all of this down below for you guys. But what's really cool about this brand is that you can use this as a lip 
you can use this as the blush and I thought that was really cool. I'm not wearing it today because I was saving it for this video, um, but I have tried this blush and I'm obsessed. Not only that, but I love the freaking smell of this, like the smell of this. And then when I do apply it, I just use my fingers like this, the heat of my fingers and like, there we go. The next item I don't have yet, so all I can do is attach a photo, but I had to tell you guys about this because I'm very excited about this. Um, but it is actually like a remote controlled motorized screen, which let me tell you, when I first moved into this house, I actually really wanted to do this screen actually in two different places, in my front door and then in my patio. Um, and when I started calling companies to kind of like quote for this, it was like, the price shook me. I'm sure worth every penny to be honest, but then just recently, like two years later, here I am in this house and I just did like a rough Amazon search and I found this seller who makes these and they do custom dimensions and everything. And I read the reviews, people really loved it. Now the tricky part is I'm actually gonna be using mine for the outside. So in having a conversation with my brother, cause he's gonna be installing it for me, you know, he's gonna be installing it to brick. So this is made to be basically installed as a window treatment. Um, we don't know, you know, if we're gonna have to do any sort of like altering to the screen itself to have some weights at the bottom so that outside it's not like kind of moving all about basically. So the one that I'm, the first one that I'm buying, um, I'm buying for my front door because the way that my house is positioned when the sun sets, it is beating down on my door and it's actually ruining my door. Um, it's ruining the wood, it's shrinking the wood, it's causing so much sun damage. And on top of that, it's still spring. We're not even in the hottest parts of, you know, like Texas in terms of weather and we're not in the hottest parts of texas we're not in the hottest parts of the weather in texas and my door handles and my key fob are just like on fire to to the touch um when that sun sets so uh it'll be like and it is a blackout type of screen by the way so it it has that feature so i feel like that's going to be really helpful um in you know as the weather gets even warmer. Next item is actually on my bed right now and I'll attach a clip for you guys cause I already put it, you can't really see it. But essentially it's like a uh, cooling mattress that you put on top of your mattress. But what really got me about this listing is that it said that it is a cooling mattress topper for back pain, extra thick mattress pad cover um, with deep pockets and it's over, it's overfilled with down alternative filling. And then as I read the description more, it talked about the back pain part of it and how it takes the pressure off the back and the hips. And that's actually ultimately why I got this. Um, really, at the end of the day, I probably just need a new mattress. But if you've been watching my vlogs, I've actually been sleeping heavily upstairs in my media room. One, because it's just really cozy, but two, actually, it's because this mattress is killing my back. So um, I thought, let me give this little topper a try. If not, it's probably time for a new mattress. Honestly, the only reason why I didn't do a mattress because I didn't want to deal with getting rid of this mattress. You know, that whole thing. This item, I actually didn't have plans to throw this in, but I thought I would do it anyway, because most of you, or some of you, not most of you, but some of you already know that my daughter has her own YouTube channel. And in her video, she talked about how I um, gifted her a camera for this new venture that she's gonna be on with you guys, for those of you that are subscribed to her channel. And I did buy her, new, her camera from Amazon. And I went with the very ever popular vlogging camera, um, which is the, it is the Canon PowerShot G7 Mark II. So, um, actually I have the Canon EOS, like I don't, I don't, I don't have that, that same camera, but I know it's a good one. I know it's going to be a great first vlogging camera for her. So 
got it off of Amazon and just thank you guys. By the way, I you y'all, you've almost gotten her to a point where she's can almost be monetized within a couple with within two videos. Like it took me years. I want to laugh and cry. Next up, I've been raving about these. I feel like kind of everywhere, but here they are properly put into today's video. But I picked up this adorable tennis skirt from Amazon. Didn't honestly think that I was going to be into this, but I'm obsessed. I got it in white, which obviously you can see here. And I also got it in black. I don't have the black to share with you guys because I'm washing it because I just wore it the other day, but it's so cute. I love how the front is a completely different look from the back. The back has the cute pleats. You even have the little pocket there and it's just giving Lululemon, which I'm not a Lululemon girl, but I'm about to contradict myself here in a second. You'll see why, but I don't own anything from Lululemon. Again, about to contradict myself, but give me a second. Um, because for me, I love shopping on Amazon for my athletic stuff. As you can see, it does have the shorts. Next up, I saw this little two-piece set. And um, this is not like one of those Amazon Prime next day shipping kind of things. So this one did take a little bit to get to me. So just FYI, in case you order this for yourself and maybe you're ordering it for like a specific time frame, kind of keep that in mind. But when I tell you I tried this on and I was shook, it makes me want to get them in whatever other colors they are available. It has the little crop top, but here's why I like this. If like crop top is kind of steering you away, but you also kind of like the idea if it's done right, this is probably the set for you. Because I like the idea of a crop top, but I don't want my stomach to really show like a sliver and that's what you kind of get with this is that little sliver. So here is the top and I'm going to do a try on for you guys. You can see like the little elastics got a button closure on the back and I went with this um, like rustic orangey color and the shorts are a high waist. So when the top reaches, you know, the shorts, you really do not get much of stomach exposure. So, and you also get pockets super darling i don't honestly know what size i went with i will link it down below and let you guys know if i think it's like true to size or if you should size up or down um definitely read the reviews on it as well um but this little set is completely worth it and yeah like i said i definitely need to go check and see if there are more colors because i'll probably get at least one more set this next item um i saw i I think I saw someone on TikTok like wearing this and I, I really liked it. Also another one of those items where it's not like next day shipping kind of thing. It took a little bit to get to me, but it's just like this button up waffle, waffle style top. You can see like the waffliness there and um, in this like beigey color here. And actually I think I was going to style this with like biker shorts and a black sports bra like black biker shorts black sports bra i'm sure i'm doing it in the video for you guys um and then just having this on as an over as an overcoat for those like early morning walks with loki when it's kind of chilly you know you're kind of like right in in that weird part where in the morning at least in texas in the morning you start off with heat in your house and then by afternoon you've put the ac on the last item before i jump into my amazon favorites of all time this item is actually not from amazon but i wanted to go ahead and throw it into today's video because i always share with you guys what i get um now i have something in my eye but when i was talking about lululemon and contradicting myself that's because i just recently bought myself a lululemon bum bag now like i said i'm i really honestly could care less about lululemon like i get the appeal their stuff looks great but i like buying my leggings for 20 dollars and not 80 for me personally like i've gifted that before um my daughter loves it my sister-in-law loves it like i know people love it I'm just talking about me personally, but then I saw somebody with this bum bag and I was just like, why does it have to be Lululemon? But also it's gorgeous. The thing is, is that I kind of thought it was going to be a different shade. So I honestly don't know if this is a return right now or not, because in person it just has this like 
it's not quite green and it's not quite brown and it's just it's I wouldn't even call it army green either like I love army green like I don't know what color this would be um, but I really liked the whole vibe. I lo love the material because it's obviously athletic. I love the style of it. And they ca it came in one other color. I don't know if I'm just better off with that color maybe. But, um, but I, your girl loves a good, like, I love a good bum bag. Okay, that's, that's my whole style. Now, I rarely wear the traditional purse anymore just because i get so frustrated with it on my shoulder when i'm out shopping and it just like swings or i i've got i've given up on that to be honest you know like i might wear it once or twice here for maybe like a specific outing but otherwise when i travel to basically walmart hobby lobby and dollar tree that's that's the only two, three places i go um i wear a crossbody bag because then my arms are free my purse isn't falling flat. I've had my purse st straight swing and hit me in the face. And I'm like, okay, I'm over this. All right, so with my favorites, it's just gonna be a very quick round. I'll link it down below because I've already talked about them to death, but I just felt like they're too good not to constantly put them in every video. So here are my Amazon current favorites. First one being the Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. I love this thing. I've raved about it so much. Worth the price for me personally. The next thing is going to be my adorable little B mini wallet. This is crucial for me, especially since I've downgraded to a bum bag and some of them can tend to be very small, so you can't really carry a huge wallet. And this is perfect because if it's all my credit cards, my ID, and like, that's it. Next up, I would have to say that my office desk and the drawers that I bought separately for this desk are another favorite of mine. The desk is just so incredibly simple. It was so easy to put together, crisp white. It also has like the fully like finished back so that when you're sitting there and someone's sitting in front of you, they can't see your legs underneath basically. And that just seemed like a lot harder to find. Um, within my price range and also finding the right size of that. So when I found this on Amazon, I was incredibly happy and still now it's such a good little desk. However, it's pretty plain. It's literally just the top and the sides kind of thing. It doesn't have any drawer system. So then of course I went to Amazon and found, this sounds so sponsored, but Amazon's not sponsoring me. So just FYI. Um, but then I bought these little drawers. They come with either a sticker adhesive or you can nail it in. I use the sticker adhesive. It's, you guys, it's very strong. And then I just inserted them to underneath my desk and I use it every day to put my little pens. And I just love finding little solutions to problems you know, for such a great price. So I'll just link my last Amazon favorites video down below and then my last Amazon haul down below. Um, you can go check out those items, but I'll close today with two more favorites and that's gonna be the coloring books and the video games. Yeah, the just an all time at the top favorite. I have found two particular uh, like coloring book designers, I guess you could say, or authors actually. Um, and uh, one, she does Nice Little Town, which I've talked about so much, link down below. And then one is Creative Haven. Love those. Those you can actually also kind of find at Walmart as well, but they are so good, so cheap. They're like three bucks, maybe five bucks on some of them, but chef's kiss on these adult coloring books, the best. And then the video games, um, you could definitely get like the CD-ROM for it for like your PC. When I say video games, I mean for your computer. Um, and then you also get like just the digital download of it, which is very nice because then like you'll always have that download. Um, and yeah, I love a good video game. As a matter of fact, I feel like I haven't played in a minute and I really kind of want to get back into that. And I found some of my favorite PC games ever and I'll link my favorites down below for you guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got like a bunch of good little ideas for whatever it is that you might be looking for. And like I said, I will link them down below. So that's it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.